If you've had difficulty getting Simu up and working on the Steam Deck, then you're not alone. Even when we install it through the MU Deck Toolkit, which is supposed to do all of the configuration work for us, sometimes things just aren't done properly and the emulator won't detect button presses or thumbstick movement when you open it up. So today, I'll be showing you how to get Simu set up properly on the Steam Deck so that it works with our built-in gamepad here. This video assumes you already have Simu installed. I actually used EmuDeck to install this on my Steam Deck here, but you could also install it manually through the Discover app if you'd like. For those who are curious on how to get EmuDeck up and running, I'll be sure to include a link to that video down in the description below. Now the first thing that we're going to do here is reboot over into desktop mode. This is required because Simu seems to be saving the settings when you close the settings box and we're unable to access that while we are in the deck UI. Maybe in future updates this will be changed, but for now we're just going to head on into desktop mode. From here we're going to open up Steam and view our library. If you haven't added Simu as a non-Steam game, now is the time to do so from here. And we want to do this because we want Simu to leverage the built-in controller feature of Steam and the Steam Deck. So after you have added Simu here, we're going to click on it to bring up the page. And we're actually going to check the controller layout first. So we're going to click the controller icon on the right side right here. And then from here, we are going to view the layout. Now, if you don't have a mouse connected, we can press and hold the Steam button to control the mouse here. So we're going to view our layout. If your buttons are not assigned right now, that is OK. We're going to back out of here. And I actually recommend that you check out this section right here. So we're going to click here. And that's going to bring us to our layouts where we can actually go and view templates and community layouts. So check out the templates here and find the Emudeck Simu template that is from Valve. You can also check out some community layouts as well. But we're just going to select the standard Emudeck Simu layout. And you can see that that layout has been selected here. So again, we can view that layout. Or if need be, we can come in and edit it manually to assign the buttons properly. You can even pause it on this screen here and mirror this configuration on your own Steam Deck from that edit layout section that we were just at. So now with this done, we're going to go back. And now we're going to launch Simu from Steam while we are in desktop mode. So again, we're going to be holding the Steam button so that we can control our mouse. And then we're going to click on the options menu so that the, we can then go into the input settings window. Now you need to check the emulated controller box right here. And make sure that the Wii U gamepad option is selected, just like you see here. Once you have changed the emulated controller over to the Wii U gamepad, check these buttons to see if they have automatically populated for you. If they did not, then you can go through here and manually assign them yourself. And again, you can pause on this screen to set it up on your Steam Deck 
just like you see it here. Now with that done, I have seen some guides suggest that you need to change the controller field right here to the X input option. However, MUDEC set this to DSU controller for my install, and that seems to be working great so far right now. However, if you are having trouble getting a controller working on Simu with your Steam Deck, then go in here and change this from DSU controller to the X input one. Then check again to see if these automatically populate for you. And again, if they don't, manually assign them yourself. The last thing we're going to do here is we are going to create a name for this profile. And then we're going to save it by clicking the button right there. And with all of that done, we can now click the X to close out this window. So that now Simu will save those settings for us. And then from here, again, we're gonna close out of Simu from desktop mode, and we're gonna close out of Steam so that we can finally go back into gaming mode. Now we're going to open up Simu again. This time we are in gaming mode on our Steam Deck, and we're going to load up a game so again, we're going to press the Steam button so that we can control the mouse. And we're going to select to launch the game. And this time, our buttons should work properly. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link.
And now you can see that controller input finally works with Simu on the Steam Deck. I hope this has helped anyone who has had trouble getting Simu up and running on their Steam Deck. If you have any questions or ran into any issues during this process, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below.